you know like life is hard and when you are in your 30s and you realize oh my gosh my parents were there don't do those challenges those oh, sorry. Don't allow people to provoke you. the last time let's see if I can get lucky again to find me something to wear for um, tomorrow Waiting at the salon for 40 minutes. I can't wait anymore. This is not gonna work. So now I'm gonna just try to do this myself. Even though you guys, to host an event, I definitely don't think I should be doing my own hair for this event. I'm not a short hairstylist concierge. I'm not, I don't specialize in this. However, I'm just gonna set myself up for failure if I continue to wait for her. So I'm gonna head to my salon and Portia and I will both have to do it. She could, I could, whatever. I will figure it out. <sighs> so, yeah. That's update. I'm so annoyed, but you got to think of solutions. And I'm not going to, I can't sit here waiting around. The appointment with the lady was at 8.30. I got here at 8.20 just to be on time, just to be early. Um, because she's, you know, one of those Caribbean hairstyles, short hairstylists. She's really good at what she does. So, typically what happens is a whole bunch of people are going to be here at the same time and she's about to be busting us up. Like, And I was like, you know what? Let me just make sure that I'm the first one. Let me get her early. But I call you. I text you. After we confirmed last night and you're still not here, why would I, like, what am I going to wait for? Got to go on to the next. We got to figure out the next solution. So, that's what's happening. Um, I'll keep you guys posted. to give it yeah. Yeah. like this now like you know stuff like that but i think she's talking about in the beginning like the first thing the first thing is okay so i just finished um amanda did my makeup as you guys saw Portia, uh we, we did what we could y'all because the time is really it looks decent and that's all that matters to me um i'm on my way right now i feel good i look good i really don't know how i feel about this necklace I feel like it's a lot but i am the host so i feel like there's nothing wrong with being a lot you know um so yeah that's what's happening and i'm about to drive on time um i'm on time right now but you know life traffic and things happen so just praying that i guess me there safely and everything is fine guys when I get there okay guys so update I'm keeping the necklace on I like it with it um, it's giving host energy 
so that's the energy we want to give so i'm gonna keep it on um i'm driving now and i was just thinking as i was driving i was like you know what let me talk let me talk to my people real quick as i'm driving you know i am just in a season of gratitude i feel like i'm always grateful even when life is hard i'm just always grateful for the good in you know whatever i'm going through and even the things that have you so low guys like the things that have you so so low there's goodness in it like i really don't regret anything i don't regret any decisions that god has made or any season that i'm in like i'm just super grateful right now someone had messaged me and was just like you know um i just want to say to you that you're doing a really great job you know being your own manager and it's just like I, god is my manager like legit like everything that i'm doing everything that i'm pursuing like he knows about it and if it aligns it aligns and if it doesn't it doesn't i pitch myself to so many companies um and sometimes they you know are able to work with me and sometimes we don't it doesn't work you know and that's okay because i only want to do what i'm aligned to like I, it, i'm okay with that you know um but i had to tell her i was like you know this is not like i feel like it looks like i'm in the season that i've been working so hard to get to but this has been years of like trying and trying and trying and i think that i'm just finally in the season of like you didn't give up and i'll hear some of the fruits you know from your labor you know um i don't know i'm just grateful and i'm grateful for y'all too because these opportunities oh my gosh i really hate oh my gosh Um, the GPS. I hate when it stops. Does your GPS do that? Like you're going somewhere and then you're like, where's the update? And then you go to it and there's no update. <laughs> anyway. Um, I haven't been consistent on YouTube. And honestly, I feel like I just went through a moment where I was just like, you know, focus on one thing. Because I felt like I was trying to be consistent on YouTube and trying to be consistent on Instagram and trying to be like, it's a lot. And it's just like, this is not the end all. Like, there's so many other goals I have in life that exist outside of social media, too. <laughs> and it's just like trying to balance all of it. Like, be gentle with yourself. I'm talking to you, but I'm really talking to me. And that's what I had to say. Like, yo, be gentle with yourself. Like, whatever is for you is for you. Kiki Palmer said it the other day. She said, it's okay to rest. If I find the clip, I'm going to put it here. But it is okay to rest. Whatever is for you is for you. If you want it. If you want it. Um... So yeah, I don't know who that message is for, but it's okay to rest. I've rested. You guys have seen me rest. You guys have seen me take breaks on social media and disappear for months. You've seen that. It's okay. You know, um, get your mental right. Y'all know I'm a huge advocate for therapy. I am a huge... Therapy and Jesus will get you together. Therapy and Jesus. It's, it's the two. The two of them. The two of them. <laughs> it gotta happen simultaneously. But it will get you all the way to all the way together whatever it is that you're going through whatever hardship you're having whatever it is whatever it is it's nothing too small it's nothing too big like whatever it is you can get through it with jesus and therapy um so don't wait until things are really bad to go to therapy i wish i started therapy years ago um it's just that when the when like when people say to me oh you should go to therapy and no shade to anyone but like if you're saying to someone you should go to therapy but you're not in therapy then to me it's like kind of productive how could you be telling me advice on going to therapy when you're not in therapy or when i feel like you could also be in therapy and you're not in therapy then it's just like uh what got me to therapy is one of my girlfriends actually being active in her therapy sessions and me seeing the transformation that it was making on her life that is what brought me to therapy and it was the best thing yet and god really does make no mistakes because the person that I'm talking about, she started working in my salon and um, she made, we made a, a path. Like she was just like, I want to be out of here within a year. I'm really just trying to get my stuff together. I did it And I was just like, absolutely. Like, you know, like it's going to happen. Like fight for what you want. You see yourself having your own suite. You see yourself like do what, fight for what you want, you know? Um, and she stood to it. She was like, I'm only going to be here for a year. Anyway, long story short, but while she was working in, a, in my small, um, salon, I was going through such a hard, I'm still going through, I'm still going through it, okay, life is still lifing, however, I'm just moving with grace and joy, because Jesus is in my heart, and that's really all it is, like, everyone's like, oh my god, you're always so happy, I am always so happy, because Jesus is inside of me, guys, like, look at all the blessings,
blessings that he's bestowing upon me and my family. We wake up every day and we are he happy, healthy, in great condition. We have a roof over our head. Like they're like the things that I can complain about, it would be a disgrace to do it. And yes, we're human, so we have emotions, but I have gotten to the point where it's just like I'm not gonna let all of these things stress me out. I'm not. I'm gonna live in the now and be grateful for where I am today. And I'm gonna focus and per I'm gonna focus on the love that I have from in me right now to give and the, the love that is being given to me. That's what I'm focusing on right now. I can't focus on anything else. Um and therapy is a part of that. Therapy has been so good to me. And guys, you know I went to school for social services. And you know that caseworking is what I do. So you would think, in fact, I do believe that in order for you to be in social services, that you should have a therapy, a therapist. I think it should be a requirement. I do truly believe that. Because um, so many people feel like they don't need it. Like they can cope or heal, them, heal themselves from reading books and listening to podcasts. And don't get me wrong, you can start the process that way but you are not a licensed clinician you know like you can't jesus can help you you know but as far as that like you gotta it's okay to go for help it's in the bible it's in the bible like it's okay it's okay to seek additional help there's nothing wrong with that um and it was the best decision that i've ever made but like i said i started it because of the transformation i saw in a pair i saw her just change over months you know and it was just like i was so happy because she was in such a dark place and then i just see her blossom into this you know beautiful flower i'm just so proud of her oh uh, anyway i'm not gonna get emotional but i love my therapist um and she's not an enabler she does not make me vent to her like no we do real work i gotta show up doing the work that she has asked me to do weekend i just I'm healing so so much things from my childhood and I think that's why it's so important to go to therapy because when you become a mom and you become a wife and you become you know all these roles all of your childhood traumas come comes back comes to surface and if you don't know how to if you didn't know how to heal in them because you didn't know you want to know at least how to heal it now so it doesn't repeat itself and so you don't implement those same exact things to your children because that's really where I'm at the way that I was raised and the way that my children are being raised is so different. And every now and then I get frustrated, you know, like, and I want to yell and I want to scream and I want to reenact the same things that were done to me, right? Because I feel fine. I turned out fine, right? No. Like, you know, like, nobody is is perfect. And I respect my parents so much more now that I am older. And, you know, like, life is hard. And when you are in your 30s and you realize, oh, my gosh, my parents were in their 30s, they were figuring life out you know I can't expect perfection from anyone I'm not perfect so this is where like learning Christ and like really trying to be more like him because that's in my prayer like Jesus I want to be more like you because it's hard you get angry you feel disloyalty like it's, it's a lot and then you, you just want to get angry I don't want to be angry I don't want to be angry I want to have love in my heart for everybody I just want to know that everything is is divine everything happens how it's supposed to happen everything was intentional and that's okay life you know life happens how it's supposed to happen i truly 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 believe that um so yeah that's just where i'm at and i just wanted to just say like you know i haven't been on here as consistent as as consistently as i was before but i'm here i'm here and i am healing and i am enjoying life and i am being loved on by my husband and i'm loving on my husband that's a good man savannah that's a good man um i'm just so happy for are we're about to get 10 years next next year 10 years of being married and i'm married to my best friend outside of jesus because jesus go first but <laughs> but and i'm so grateful that i have such an amazing man who holds me accountable who doesn't um he's not a yes man you know like because you i need someone that's gonna be like nah babe the way you handled that was wrong or the, like you know that, that's what i need and that's what i appreciate and i have that in my husband um it's nothing like having a strong black man by your side to help you raise nothing like having a strong black man by your side that you are raising your family with it's i'm so grateful and i don't take it for granted and i don't ever want to take him for granted um so i'm just in that season of loving on me loving on my babies loving on my husband and loving the loving those that pour into me and you know i'm just i'm living in the now um all while healing myself um and preparing for the season that i am in and the seasons that god has prepared for me um i'm moving real slow like i'm in no rush to do anything i don't know it's so weird it's just i know it's not weird and it happens when you have you know i've I've been an entrepreneur for a long time and um, I've been through a lot 
mind to it. And that's it. I know I'm supposed to, I'm, I'm here to help. Um, and I just continue to ask God to like use me. And unfortunately, sometimes, you know, that looks hard. That that looks hard. The other day I was saying to myself, like, yo, I'm always telling God to use me. <laughs> and I know that I should be, but like, should I? Because ooh, uh, I cannot cry right now. Not with this makeup. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Because I really can't. <laughs> but I always tell God to use me. I've always said that. And sometimes when He uses you, whatever it is whoever he's healing or whatever the journey is supposed to be is like you know it doesn't look pretty and it's not a pre it's not a pretty season it's not it's not pretty what you're going through and but i truly have faith in god and i know that jesus is in me and over me i feel it like i am protected i am ordained i am i am favored i truly am and I know that, and I cherish that, and I'm so appreciative for it. And I just want him to know that I love him that much, too, that I'm going to honor him and everything that he wants me to do. So, if using me means that I'm losing a lot during the process, I'm okay with that. And it hurts. It don't feel good. But I'm okay with that. Because the end is going to be so glorious, it's going to be worth it. It's gonna be right then. And that's it. I'm not I'm not finna do this. So I'm about to get out get out of here. I'll see you guys <laughs> in a little bit. I'll see you at Curl Press. Why is it why are we always having these type of chats when I'm going to an event? Like what is up with that? What's up with that guy? What's up with that? Ugh. Alright, so we checked in and now we're about to park. Of course. <laughs> it's crazy, ready? Yes. Okay. Um, we're in our bag now. Okay. Um, what we are about to do. Isn't this so cute? It's so cute. Oh my it's god. Hi. Hi. I didn't bring the person to help me clear because they didn't look on. Really? Yeah, and I was just like, if I come here with this person and I could have brought her. They didn't even. They didn't say anything. No. That's what they said. They, they said, walk, uh, tell them to walk with purpose. Like, that was going to so, stop you. <laughs> I was so pissed. Like, I'm I like, you know where you're going. But I said, what if they don't, you know? Yeah. All right, let me just get my. Stuff, and then we're gonna get right into it. How you doing, baby? Hi, I'm wet. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Guys, I'm having such a beautiful time. Y'all going on YouTube. <laughs> the line is long. Oh, we're having a good time, but I have to put on the hat because I'm so hot. So this is off and out. It's hot. Anybody from Africa in the building? All of us. All of us. Guys, the line is long. Does it like work? Shut up. Up. This is so nice. Hey friends, we at Crowfest. You missing out on so much booking. Look at we at the Meow Organics. I'm not here. You better go ahead. If you're Shea Moist, you're watching this. I'm not. I'm not here, Bookie. I cannot. Go get Meow Organics. Have a great time. Bye, baby. Everybody at Crowdfest right now, they're gonna hand up like this and make some noise for the founders of Crowdfest. Make some noise right now. It was beautiful. I had a great time. So, I spoke with the founders. They want to work together. Um, they really want Jory to be here, which is so amazing to be told that. <laughs> Um, so I told, I said, well, in order to have Joyce here, I have to have products. <laughs> so we're going to work on that for next year. 
I'm gonna put that on my vision board. Woo, all right guys. Let me go pick up these babies. Woo. Remember this morning I was so upset about not getting my hair done? Uh, going to the lady and she was late, etc., etc. But God is so good because I'm so happy I didn't get my hair done. Because it's so hot. That would have been a waste. I'm so happy that I I'm so happy that I said, you know what, let me go. Let me let me go to my salon, wash my hair, wrap my hair. And so happy that Portia was able to assist if I had paid to get my hair done. And then now I'm wearing a hat. Okay, so that the amount of people that I saw today that came out to support that almost had me teary eyed like this one girl was just like I saw you from the beginning I've been following you from the beginning from when you were doing hair on Church Avenue before when you were doing hair in your mom's I mean in your aunt's kitchen if you've been if you've known me since my aunt's kitchen that is a journey okay that is well over 13 14 years and it's like when you are being reminded of your journey and you, you hear how inspiring you are and how um proud people are of you like it's the, i was like please don't make me cry please because honestly i just can't right now um but it was just so beautiful like i love seeing all of you guys i love listen y'all my people a hundred grand okay a hundred grand that's it let's go get these kids hi my babies thank you for being an amazing aunt <laughs> no thank you i said why do you have I went, I went no to, daddy's at work i went to um, tracing them house yesterday Can I go in there with you? Sure. Okay. There might be cars, but I'm just trying to go on this side. And there might be cars. I'm just trying to go on this It was so hot. Um... I figured I'll talk to you guys while I take off my makeup. Um, I'm really upset right now with this whole Carly situation. Footage of the alleged long I just, serial killer being arrested. The fact that this young lady was trying to help a child and got abducted, it really, 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 really bothers me. For so many reasons. <sighs> My heart is hurting for this girl's family and friends. Um, I just really feel the need to not only should we all be praying for her and the safety of her return. But I really want us all to be really, really diligent about what we're doing um paying attention to our surroundings whenever you any if your energy is telling you that something's off it's off you know um that young girl called her sister after calling the cops because something was off you know what i mean like something was off and she just wanted to let someone else know like there's a young girl i mean there's a child that i see that i want to help um and I'm just so sad about it because that could have been any one of us. So I just, you know, I know that we are all kind people and helpful people and nurturing people. It's like, especially black women. Um, but 
you know, we are living in a sinful world. And a lot of people do not mean well. There's a lot of crime going on. There's a lot of sin happening. <sighs> Just call the cops. Call the cops and walk away. I cannot believe this girl lied. I've never seen Kyrie this this red. The fact that I was raised Seventh-day Adventist and we were not allowed to wear any jewelry, but I wore jewelry because my mom pierced my ears as a baby before she passed away. Um, but my stepmom would be like, don't wear jewelry, you know, you're not supposed to wear jewelry, and da da da. And now that I'm older and like I'm reading the Bible and all that stuff myself, I was just like, I I don't see anything wrong wearing jewelry. And now I'm actually baptized into this religion. I know my stepmother hates it. <laughs> Because I, I wear I wear jewelry, and I'm and I'm not like disrespectful. So if I know I'm going to church, I would wear like my earrings only, or like you know like one necklace. I wouldn't wear like all of the necklaces and stuff like that, just out of respect for like the older Seventh Day Adventist community. But yeah, I still don't see nothing wrong with wearing it. Um, I know she probably she probably be pissed. We're headed to this restaurant in the Hamptons. This is such a beautiful day out. And my niece, it's so weird calling her niece, but, cause she's an adult now, you know? She's still your niece, but, I know she's my niece. My niece is here. <laughs> so, um, we've enjoyed, we enjoyed it. We enjoyed the day thoroughly. We went to Kyrie's. Um, basketball championship game and he got his award today and then we went back to the house and made homemade ices then we and then we went to the pool and we had a pool day and uh, then we came back to the house Ooh. had ices and now we are driving to this restaurant called Flora and it looks really good This is Flora. I'm cracking up. Somebody said, what type of vitamins you take? <laughs> oh my God. I busted out laughing. Jador? I think that's your name. I busted out laughing. I'm commenting to you right now. <laughs> I'm, in the, I'm, in, I'm in the Walgreens. No, sir. She said, I'm half through and we got to talk. First of all, let the long-term relationships and married folks speak up. What kind of vitamins your friend taking? I think I'm low on iron or something. <laughs> Goodness. I can't look at you. I created you. You're not peeing, right? You're not peeing, right? You better not pee. Oh, no, she's fake sleeping. She's fake sleeping? I think she's barely sleeping. Mommy, if you tickle her in the belly, she's like. Excuse me. Yes, baby. Oh, I'll ask for you. 
So what are we looking at? What is what is looking like? You know what you want? You know what you want? Hi everyone, how are you? Are we leaving on one more? This is the crew. No, this is the crew, but he's about to walk. Yeah. Oh my god, that looks so nice. <laughs> What's going on? What's going on? Wow. No, but mommy, mm -hmm. what if Cross? But what if we done watch? But what if we watch the movie without Crossy? We'll wake her up before the movie starts. Yeah. Yeah, but what if she's still not missing? Hey, hey. Uh, she's tired. Mm, delicious. Mmm. Yeah, that's the disgusting sandwich I ever had in my life. What? Frosty is up. You want the lemon? This is not an orange. <laughs> Mommy, yes? What is that? It's a flower pot. What's the dessert? Right this here. is the dessert. It is. Can we eat yes, it? yes, we can eat it. Are you ready? Eat the dirt. Yes. Yeah, so look, we gotta dig in. No. Can't eat a plant. Oh, 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 oh. Mmm. Oh. Oh. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Wait. Wait. What? Babe. I think. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah, I gotta go deeper. Oh boy. Is there ice cream under there? Oh boy. Mm. This is the part that you like. It's so pretty. Oh, be careful. It looks so pretty. You wanna take it? You really shouldn't, but if you're gonna do it, no, no, no. If you're gonna do it, you gotta do it from the bottom. Area is so cute. Hi. <laughs> I know it's so pretty. Oh, mommy, I want to take a picture. So cute. Oh, I know. I just. I know. <laughs> you look so handsome. Aw, the mosquito got you and Jasmine. Look at the mosquito bite. Look at the one by the ear. Remember the one I told you to get rid of him? Get rid of him? Oh. He's yeah, allergic to mosquitoes. Like I think I Look at his too. bite. Mine turn, well turn, show her. It's not, it's baby, it's the, there's no mosquito there. Look at it. Oh, yeah. Mine well. Yes. Bye. Bye, baby. I love you. Close the door. Mm. <laughs> I love you. No. Mm, love you. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, it's hours later. And I'm going. Why is Kyrie's shoes? I'm just <sighs> oh, Lord, give me strength. Um um I'm going to emergency room. I told y'all, but we did a challenge, and it failed, and I am in pain, and my head doesn't hurt, so I feel like I should be okay, but because I've heard of so many stories of people, you know what I mean, like, hurting themselves, I don't want to be that person to not take this seriously. Um, by the grace of God, like, I don't have, like, it's not like a migraine, but I definitely felt my skull move when I fell, um, and it hurt, it hurt a lot. I hurt myself, I hurt myself, I'm gonna show you the video. Um, and I'm mad strong, so black women, we tend to be like, oh, it's okay, like, but I don't want to ignore something that could have happened, or prevent something, like, I put ice, of course, I did all that stuff. 
I did ice to um, relieve the swelling. Um, I stayed up for hours. I didn't go right to sleep. I did a lot of things on my end, I feel like, that would help if anything were to happen or did happen. But just to be safe, because of all of these things that be happening, people be going to sleep, and it's just, I can't. So, I'm going to emergency room. Thankfully, Keith is home today with the kids, so um, I waited for them to be like ready for the night. Hmm. I have so many doctors in my life. I feel like I told y'all this already. Um. So, with my neck hurting, with the fall being so hard, I'm like, nah, I gotta go to the hospital. <laughs> and I'm not laughing because it's not funny. But, like, I was just like, nah, I gotta go to the hospital. I can't play around. So, I'm going to the ER to get a CAT scan. Which I don't even want to do because it's a lot of unnecessary radiation. Being that I'm not bleeding or my head is not pounding me. My head is not swollen. My nose isn't swollen anymore. I put um, ice on my nose. It still hurts. It does hurt. And I hope I didn't break nothing. Um, because I would hate to have, to have to get surgery <laughs> on my nose. Because I love my nose. Um... But yeah, um, so I'm gonna go. So I'll see y'all when we get there. Don't, don't, the challenge, if you know, you know some challenges you know that you could do, but the ones that you, I know I don't be in a gym like that. I know my core is not coring the way that it should be. I know that I'm not a fitness girly. Like, why? Well, I just always, I have this delusional thing about me where I always feel like I can do anything somebody else does. And it's a good thing and a bad thing. And I notice the same trait in my daughter. Like, if I see somebody else do something, to me, there's no reason why I can't do it. And I will do it. Should have never done that one. Should have never done that one. Thank God my husband said put the pillows down. Because the pillows literally saved saved my life. Saved my life. Anyway, BRB. <laughs> see people vlogging like this all I say is how especially when they have those big cameras <laughs> because it's a workout all right let me rush home I'll see you guys later <sighs> well the podcast was so good she had me crying in there y'all y'all know I'm an emo um, but I've known Chrissy for so many years now. I think I've known Chrissy for, I've known Chrissy, I've been doing her hair since I was in my aunt's kitchen. So, I've known her for maybe 13, 13, 14 years now. It's a long time. Um, and... I've seen her transition so much and of course she feels the same way so I'm so honored that I got to go um, on her podcast but of course the conversation was so you know it's gonna be different because it's like she knows me um, and I know so much things about her it's like she not only does not only do I know her but she knows me so those conversations you know the conversation is just coming from a different space because it's like we've seen each other become and evolve into women you know that um just are sure of themselves and yeah it was definitely emotion emotional for me um but it's okay I love to cry I like to get some tears out sometimes so <laughs> um yeah uh what I I'm excited to see how um, 
how that turned out. <sighs> but yeah, I am headed back to work right now. And um, I will chat with you guys later. I'm so tired. I actually think I'm going to go grab some lunch. Yeah, we're going to go grab some lunch. I'm starving. I wanted to say I had to add this message don't allow people to provoke you sometimes people are so hurt that they're just looking for a response they provoke you because they want you to get out of character they want you to get angry <laughs> but if there's one thing that I learned is Silence is the best response. Being silent, not um, being reactive, not, you know, just be silent. Don't allow anyone to provoke you. Give all your burdens to Jesus. And everything will be fine. You know, one of my favorite prayers is Psalms 23. <laughs> a lot of us have people in our in our lives or had people in our lives that you thought you know loved you so much and cared about you so much and the minute that something bad happens you just see this mean side of the person that you could never have seen or never thought you could see and i just always think about that bible script that that scripture like lord prepare us a table in the presence of my enemies i don't know who my enemies are but I know that God is going to continue to have favor over my life. And I'm going to continue to give him grace. And I'm going to continue to thank him. And I'm going to continue to be the authentic person that I am. And that's it. You can't, don't let anybody provoke you. I have some great people in my life that I learned from. That I have learned from in the past. Um, <clears throat> and... Just seeing how their life is and how God has blessed them and how happy they are and you know joy is something that no one can take from you some people will do anything to be happy or to have true joy but the only person that can give you that is Jesus I'm gonna say it one more time yes I have a husband and I am happily married by the grace of God and I have a great partner. So grateful for our marriage, for our relationship, for the children that we brought into this world, the life we have made for ourselves through God. So grateful for all that. But my joy doesn't come from those things. My joy comes from Jesus. And when your joy comes from Jesus, you can go through so much tribulation, boy. You could almost you could go through so much turmoil. But you can still smile because you, you, there's just something that's in you that it's not a materialistic thing. It's not a temporary thing. It's like when I always say, like, if I love you, I'll always love you. Because it doesn't matter what you do for me. My, the way that I look at you and the way that I view you, all of those things, can, things cannot be changed. But if I ever loved you, I'll always love you. Character. Character is really, really important to me. And when things happen and I see how people operate it just makes me say okay <laughs> you know and thank you God thank you God for showing me what I needed to see and that's it don't allow people to provoke you do not allow anyone to provoke you alright bye <laughs>